Number 10. Heroes of Bikini Bottom has good and bad things. Back when I did the top 13 VGS and DVD mistakes, I said some things that Heroes of Bikini Bottom has, but I forgot to say from the DVD that gave us good and bad things, mostly bad. The only good things that this DVD has are Back to the Past, The Bad Guy Club for Villains, and Cracked Crabs. Maybe the bonus features in here are good also, like the Back to the Past shorts and the Tough Puppy episodes, Mole Rats and Operation Happy Birthday. Knowing that I'm not the biggest fan of Operation Happy Birthday, but everything else is just bad or mediocre. Earlier this year, I appeared on Rick's streaming channel on February 23rd of this year, and when I saw someone put a pal for Gary on his top 20 worst Spongebob episodes in his opinion, I knew that a pal for Gary would be number one based on my reaction that you see here. It's only so low on this list because there are a lot of other missed opportunities that bothered me more than this, and a pal for Gary bothers everybody. So let's move on. Number 9. Rabbit has the first and last line of Newfound Friends. Back when I did 7 Things Wrong with The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh Volume 6, All's Well That Ends Well, I mentioned some characters that I remember having the first and last line in a VHS. Like, Tigger has done that a few times in... Learning, Making Friends, Playtime, Fun and Games, and Franken Poo. Christopher Robin did that in another learning VHS growing up with Home is Where the Home is and Grown But Not Forgotten switched places, or switching places, but just to tie in this missed opportunity more, while saying or recapping the things of that new events of Win the Pooh volume that I like the least. While saying the things about that bothered me about it, I completely forgot that Winnie the Pooh had the first and last line on that VHS. And I realized afterwards that Rabbit had a, a case in point like that of his own in Newfound Friends. Rabbit has the first and last line in this volume, and these are the only two volumes in which you don't see Christopher Robin in it. I think the closest is volume 9, but we only see him at the very end of the last episode in that volume, Owl Feathers. When he tells Christopher Ro er, when Christopher Robin tells Pooh Bear that the feathers are really his, not Owl's, when they were having a a pillow fight. And I'm like, really? I don't believe in that. Sorry, buddy. But he does get to see a magic trick from Piglet, who wears a magician's outfit throughout the entire thing, only for it to backfire, and another Piglet shows up instead of a rabbit. So, here's the first line that Rabbit says in the first episode on this volume, Find her, keep her. House. Well, all I can say of that is that Rabbit just had one word as his first line, and that is scarf. Still, it counts as a first line. Now, let's go over here to where Rabbit says the last line in Friend Indeed.
yeah. I forgot about it until I realized that Rabbit had the first and last line. It, it, it's an easy thing to forget because it, because you're easy to think, or it is easy to think that one character says the first line and, and a different character says the last line, but it doesn't work that it doesn't work out that way every time. And going back to a previous missed opportunity, there's no one about Morbius that that is not on this list. But people were talking about a post credit scene it, that involves the Vulture, played by Michael Keaton, and Morbius, played by Jared Leto. They think they should team up to do some good. And joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe or the Marvel team to possibly form the Sinister Six. But again, after hearing what I found out about Morbius, I don't think that's going to happen, my friends. But, uh, but with that done, and with this done, it's. I think it'll be easier for me to remember which characters have the first and last line once I pay attention to them, study them, remember them, and then I've got them all nailed in my head 